profits come and try It don't matter where we be at When you see us, we gon' ride We'll pull up where you be at Hit the streets and bring it out Plus we practice what we preach And read them scriptures, then apply You wanna pull up on the profits Come and try It don't matter where we be at When you see us, we gon' ride We'll pull up where you be at Hit the streets and bring it out Christ Christ is from the uh, tribe of Judah our, The black messiah He's from the tribe of Judah Right you are the you are, you are one of the greatest creations that God made. That's James. Right. God said that you are an Israelite according to the Bible from the tribe of Judah. That's right. But now it's time to start acting like it. Now it's time to uh put away childish things. Give me give me that in uh Hebrews where uh Christ is from the uh, tribe of Judah. Read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord and Savior sprang out of Judah. Christ, the greatest man that ever walked this earth is from the same tribe as you, James. And he was a black man. Did you know Christ was a black man? Do you believe in the Bible? I really don't read. You don't read it? Why don't you read it? I don't read it. I read it. Why? It's just because you just don't feel like it? I don't read it. Do you know that Christ was a black man? According to the Bible, James, Christ was a black man from the tribe of Judah. Give me that. Read. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Give me Rev Revelation 1, because guess what, James? I've been in the situation that you are. I've, I, it was a point in my life where I didn't want to read the Bible. I didn't feel like reading it. I, did, I didn't. And I was in the Christian church. And I did not read the Bible. It wasn't until I was around prophets that, that was like-minded, you know what I'm saying, that showed me the word of God, that showed me the truth of the Bible. That's when I started reading it. That's when I started seeing for myself, you know what I'm saying, that Christ was a black man, that we wasn't supposed to celebrate Christmas, that the Sabbath day was today. These are the truths that I started realizing, you know, when I started reading the Bible. Now go back to Revelations. Read. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 14. Start at 1, start at 1. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. We are showing you the revealing of Jesus Christ. All right, go to 14, read. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. What's, hey, what's going on, bro, in the blue coat? What's your name, bro? Uh, Roshan. Roshan? Man, you, you look kind of familiar, man. My name is Simeon. All right? Uh, I spoke to you the last time. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I think it was, at, it was at the store that time when I talked uh, to you. Okay. That I hand you a flyer or something? Okay, yeah, I, I think I remember that, bro. But what we out here doing is showing, you know what I'm saying, our true heritage. We're showing that Christmas is not in the Bible, that our people are not supposed to celebrate Christmas, and we're supposed to come back to God's laws. You know what I'm saying? And we're showing you the uh, the true image of Christ right now. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. God's, uh, the Bible says that Christ's head on his head and his hairs, meaning his beard, was white like wool. Who, who on the planet Earth got woolly hair, James? Us. We got woolly hair. You see my brother in the back right here? The, uh, my brother with the locks? That's woolly hair. If you look at a sheep, if you look at a sheep, that's wool. We got the same texture of hair. And God's in the Bible is saying what? Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh -huh. As white as snow. So it was white in color and woolly in texture. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. The Bible said that Christ's eyes was red as a flame of fire. Why was it red? Because he drank wine in moderation. I don't know if you ever seen somebody that, that drank a little bit and then their eyes turned red. It got like a little red tint to it. That's what the Bible said. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, I'm sure you heard that it's a sin to drink. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't get drunk. You got to drink in moderation. All right? That's what, uh, that's what the, the, the description of Christ. Keep reading. And his feet like unto fine brass. Hey, his feet 
Look, his feet are unto fine brass. If I had on sandals right now, my feet would, re would match the rest of my skin, right? He said his feet was unto fine brass, read. As if they, they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in the furnace, what color is it going to turn? It's going to turn black. God, Christ is a black man, according to the Bible. That's right. The Bible says that he is a black man, a dark-skinned man, according to the Bible. Is this, is this is this a black man right here? This is not, this is lies. This is what we see in every Christian church. We see this in every church. But the what the Bible says is this right here. This is not an actual image of Christ, but this is this is a, a, a match of what could the, what the Bible says. You know what I'm saying? This is what the Bible says. Hair like wool, um, skin as, as brass, as burnt in the furnace. This is biblical. That's what we're showing y'all. We're showing y'all that y'all are the greatest nation to ever walk this earth. So we can't be celebrating Christmas. You, let me ask you, uh, bro, you celebrate Christmas? Are you celebrating it today? Not no more, I man. I used to celebrate it. You say you se you're not celebrating it anymore. Why is that? Because it's a lie. It's a lie? Where'd you learn that from? Because uh, I, I, I know we didn't, we didn't learn it in the Christian church. We didn't learn it in school because they teach us that, that Santa is coming down on his sleigh on a, on a chimney. The projects don't have chimneys. How in the hell is he going to come down on a chimney and we don't have chimneys? What, what does Santa and Christ have to do with each other? You know what I'm saying? These are the lies we were taught. You, you, so you said, where, where were we, uh, where did you learn it from? Uh, it was a uh, Nigerian pastor gave me uh, some scripts. Uh -huh. It wasn't a whole book, but it was just some scripts downloaded on a, like a USB. Do you, do you from, remember those scripts? What scripts did he show you? Uh, about the real day of his birth and uh, a lot of different scriptures that was it's presented short in the King James. Uh huh. But in the original text, it was like like Psalms 23. I remember it specifically. Give me give me some. Uh, it was me, it was actually like probably about three 15, pages please. long in the original Bible. Huh? Psalms 23 was originally three and a half pages long. Just Psalms 23 by itself. But in the, but in the King James text, it's short. They don't have the whole thing in there. So that's what that what told me everything I thought. That people said I was wrong, I was actually right. All right, let me, let me show you, bro. Because a lot, a lot of our people don't know the truth. A lot, a lot of our people, you know, celebrating. They celebrating Christmas because when we brought up, when we were brought over here in slave ships, our slave masters taught us. We we didn't really know about Christmas until we came over here. We didn't know about a lot of these holidays until we came over here. All right. And and God, look, matter of fact, give me uh, Deuteronomy uh, twenty eight and sixty eight. How do how do we get over here in slave ship? Um, how do we? I just gave you the answer. How do we get over here in America? Uh, we were sold. We were sold, right? But how do we get over here? What type of transportation? Boat. A boat. Give me that. Did, did you know that, uh, James? Did you know how how do we get over here in America? Slave ships. Slave ships. Did you know that was in the Bible? You didn't know because you don't read it, right? I'm gonna show you that that was that that was a prophecy that the God gave the Israelites because we chose not to follow His commandments.
Until we come back to God's laws, we're going to continue to be in the situation that we are in today. This is why this is why we don't know the, the uh, true history of the Bible. We don't know who we are according to the Bible. We don't know that we're not supposed to be celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth uh, of July, Memorial Day. All these all these days. Guess what? Our, our oppressors forced them upon us. God said that we were going to serve our enemies. All right. Give me that in uh, Deuteronomy uh, twenty-eight sixty-eight. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God said that he was going to bring us into Egypt again. Egypt is just synonymous for uh, slavery. That's all that means. Egypt, Egypt is just slavery, all right? Read that. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. God said that we weren't going to, how you doing, sis? God said that we wasn't going to see our homeland again, that we were going to be sold into slavery. Keep, uh, start over from the top. There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into ship again with ships. God said that he was going to bring us into Egypt, into slavery again with ships. This only happened to one people. This happened to the Israelites. He said that we were, he was going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. God said that we were going to be sold, James. He said that we were going to be sold unto our enemies. When we got off those slave ships, we were sold to our enemies. We show you that this is Bible prophecy. That this only happened to us. This happened to our ancestors. That's what we're showing you that we are the Israelites. According to the Bible, we are God's chosen people. Hey! Read. For bad men and bad women. For slave men and slave women. James, do not get do not get distracted. Do not get distracted, bro, because we are here to teach you. We are here to teach our people. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 48. What else happened to our people? When we got off those slave ships, we were sold and we were us. We had to, we were forced to serve our enemies. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. God said, because we wanted to celebrate Christmas, because we wanted to celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, we didn't want to uh, keep the high holy days. We didn't want to keep the commandments of God. God said that we were going to serve our enemies because of those things. How do we serve our enemies? Read. In hunger and in thirst. In hunger and in thirst. You go to any grocery store in the United States of America, any grocery store in Tulsa, matter of fact, do our people own those grocery stores? Do our people own Walmart, uh, Costco, Sam's, Warehouse Market? Our people do not own those stores. We are serving their, We are serving our enemies. We put their children in school. We put their kids through college. We are serving our enemies because we chose to not hearken to God. We chose to not keep His commandments. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Hey, Sean John, you know Sean John. He might own his own uh, clothes, but he don't own the textile. We get our clothes from different websites, Walmart, um, wherever we get them. We don't own those uh, labels. We don't own the textile. We're serving our enemies. We are serving the other nations. Read. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. If we want to get a birth certificate, a license, a driver's license, Whatever it is, if we want to learn about our history, we want to learn about uh, lit religion, we have to go to our enemies. We have to go to our enemies to learn about our history. What sense does that make? That's because we chose not to follow the Bible. There's a reason why you don't, uh, why you don't read the Bible, James. It's a reason why they, they don't want you to read the Bible. When we were in slavery, guess what? We could not read. Bring it up. They said we we could not read. Why? Because 
our history is in the Bible. The Bible is black history. That's right. This is our heritage. This is, give me a uh, Sirach uh, 1711. This is our history. The Bible is black history, James. And that's what we're here to show y'all. Read. The image of the beast on me. Book of that's Sirach, him, chapter 17 and verse him, 11. Besides this, that he gave them knowledge. He gave us knowledge, James that's Reed. True. And the law of life for inheritance. Hey, this is our true heritage. The laws of God. The laws of the Most High is our heritage. Bring it out. Now let me let me ask y'all what what is what today what is today? I'm not talking about Christmas. I'm not talking about Christmas. What what else? What is a custom that we're supposed to keep today? What's today? I can't hear you, bro. Can you? I said, correct me if I'm wrong, or somebody told me it's supposed to be a day that they celebrated our death of our masters, or our ancestors. Green one? Let me, sh let me, today is the Sabbath day. What do you say? Green one? Hey, your name, your name is Rashawn? Like, from them. What's your name again, bro? Rashawn. Rashawn. Okay. Today Black is today is matter. the Sabbath All day. Today is the Sabbath day, bro. And you know what I'm saying? The Xmas is is it just it just happens to fall on a Sabbath day. But we cannot forget that today is the Lord's day. Today is the Sabbath day of the Lord our God. Give me Exodus 20 and 8. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. God said, remember the Sabbath day. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God said that we're supposed to remember the Sabbath day. Why did he say remember? Because he knew throughout history we were going to forget, especially when we, when we came here on slave ships. That's right. Because we know our oppressors, our enemies, wasn't going to teach us the Sabbath day. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.